imaging in this modality is very fundamental. It's, it's critical. So high food surgery must be done under imaging guidance and monitoring. And so this is why we rely on imaging and ultrasonics fits very well. Actually, ultrasonic system is an open architecture system and we have full access to raw data and all the advanced imaging mode in it, B mode, Doppler, etc., RF especially. So this is why um, it's, uh, we decided to actually integrate our HIFU system with ultrasonics imaging. By being able to manipulate the actual RF signals, we could actually uh, also try to not only do our own beam forming, but also implement very innovative techniques that get rid of clutter, let's say, in ultrasound images, but would still work, let's say, in photoacoustic images also. So we could even improve those photoacoustic images that we get by access to the raw RF data. At least in the current incarnation, we're not going to see photoacoustic imaging as a standalone imaging modality because you cannot generate very meaningful images at this point. But what will happen is it's going to be used in conjunction with another imaging modality. Ultrasound, of course, being the most uh, logical match, right? And that it'll provide supplementary information to the anatomical images that are generated either by ultrasound or another imaging modality. And in that, it's very good because it could get information about oxygenation status of blood, fat content even, right? Depending on the laser wavelength that you use to do the irradiation. So uh, that's what I think that uh, photoacoustic imaging is good at. There's still quite a bit to understand in terms of interpretation of the photoacoustic uh, data that we receive. So that's why right now we're concentrating on the preclinical space. But once we gather that information, right, we'll go into the clinical space. And uh, we hope to this summer start using this on actually the breast cancer patients that we're using for the uh, tissue characterization with ultrasound. HIFU now is almost outside of lab. So we have now clinical systems out there and a couple of them already got FT approval for various applications, mainly in oncology. And there are a number of other systems that are coming out for clinical applications. So HIFU uh, seems to be a promising uh, modality or technology for non-invasive surgery. So two main methods that people are using right now for imaging side, either under MRI or ultrasound. MRI is, as we know, is very expensive and it needs larger, lots of uh, resources. So ultrasound guidance and imaging, real-time ultrasound guidance and imaging, it it's, has its own beneficial effects.